using biofeedback. Overview of K-Coach biofeedback. What is it and what do I use it for? How does biofeedback work? What is inside K-Coach biofeedback? The training builder screen. Loading a golf biofeedback activity. Training a biofeedback activity. The buttons on the live training screen. Managing your training experience. Building a program of activities. A step-by-step -step walkthrough. More on biofeedback. A summary of the ways you can change activities. Using Train Swing. Overview of K-Coach Biofeedback. What is it? And what do I use it for? Biofeedback training is one of the most versatile features of the K-Coach software. You can use it to teach players concepts, show them how to turn those concepts into movement patterns, and then to train those patterns so they become permanent patterns. Biofeedback is also used to physically screen athletes, to activate specific muscle groups, and to train fitness activities like squats, planks, and rotations. How does biofeedback work? The K-Coach Biofeedback provides visual and sound cues for movements. You use them to show your players how to move in their swing and to ensure they're getting into the positions you want them in. All activities can be customized and organized into training programs tailored to the needs of each athlete. Literally every default setting for every activity and every program can be changed to create activities that are exactly what a player needs. What is inside K-Coach Biofeedback? The Training Builder Screen. Picking Activities. K-Coach contains a library of pre-built biofeedback activities and programs that you can find on the Training Builder screen. To get to the Training Build page, all you do is click the Train button on the home page. On this page, you select activities to train and build programs from them. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the word Activities. Click Activities to select activities to train. You can select one or many activities at a time. There are six icons, and by clicking each, you get a different group of activities from which you can choose to train. Click the green icon to the left to train full swing. Click the purple icon for full swing drills. Click the turquoise icon for short game, including putting, chipping, pitching, and bunker shot activities. Click the brown icon for fitness and basic movement activities. Click the red icon for physical assessments. Click the orange icon for the wrist and hand. What is inside K-Coach Biofeedback? The Training Builder screen, Picking Programs. If you click on the word Programs, you bring up six icons. By clicking on an icon, you'll display a list of programs for various topics you can use to train players. There are six icons, and by clicking each, you get a different group of activities from which you can choose to train. Click the blue N icon on the left to train a series of dynamic programs. Click the light green icon for programs to train full swing and swing characteristics. Click the dark green icon for putting, chipping, pitching, and bunker shot programs. Click the brown icon for fitness and basic movement programs. Click the red icon for physical assessments. Click the blue K icon for any custom programs you've built. Global programs are accessible when any client profile is loaded in K-Coach. Client programs are linked to a specific client profile and only available when that profile is loaded. Click the button to see the programs for each. Loading a Golf Biofeedback Activity The first step in using K-Coach Biofeedback training is to load a pre-built activity. To load a golf activity, all you do is, on the home screen, click the Train button. You're now on the Training Builder screen. Click on Activities in the top left corner of the screen. Find the six icons at the top of the left column and click on the light green golf activity icon now. 
The names of activities will appear in the column on the left side of the screen. Double-click the Bend at Address button. The name of the activity appears in the column on the right side of the screen. Click the Launch button. You're now on the Training Setup screen. Click the Train All Activities button. You're now on the Live Training screen with the activity loaded. You can see the name of your activity in the column on the left side of the screen. Have the player stand tall. Press the Calibrate button. Your player can now train this activity. Training a Biofeedback Activity Once a biofeedback activity is loaded, to train it, position the player in calibration position. Player stands tall, hands against their sides. Press the calibration button. The avatar will now look like and move like the player's torso and pelvis. If you want to see the player's avatar from another viewpoint while they train, click the V key on your keyboard. The player can now follow the visual and auditory cues and train the activity. After each successful repetition, a ding will sound and a rep will be counted. The buttons on the live training screen. Managing your training experience. This is a quick introduction to the buttons on the live training screen. The Set Guide Live button. As its name states, this button allows you to set guides live for a player. To use this button, have a player get into a position you want them in. Click this button. Your player's position is now saved. They now train to this position rather than the default. The Show Guide Info button. This button allows you to completely customize an activity. You can change the number of guides, which guides are turned on, the number of sets and reps, the time a rep must be held to be counted, and the slider makes an activity harder or easier. You can also click the orange ADV View button for even more options. The Training Info Buttons Underneath the Show Guide Info button is the name of the program that's loaded and beneath it, your five buttons that control what happens on the training screen. Click on the Numbers button to place live numbers on the screen that change as the player moves. Click the DVT button for the activity you've loaded to be trained with what we call Dynamic Visual Training. This mode is the default training mode. Note, you can also click the V key on your computer to change the view from which you see the avatar on the screen and the guides on the screen. Click the arrows button to turn off the DVT and have the player guided by arrows during the activity. Click train torso or train pelvis to turn the guides on and off for these body segments. You have the option of training either or both for any activity. If you have more than one activity loaded, Click the Link button to link the activities to train them together as discrete segments of one longer motion. You can use this feature to link activities for multiple positions in a swing. Click Save to save changes to the current activities and training program. Click Restart to start a new set. You can see the number of reps remaining for a set in the top middle of the training screen. Building a Program of Activities, a step-by-step -step walkthrough. The following process goes through how to create a new program, add activities to it, modify the program by setting guides live, adjusting the difficulty level, and saving the program. Click the Train button on the home screen. Click the light green icon for Golf Activities. Double-click the Golf Activity Bend at Address you'll know the activity was added to the program because the name will appear in the right-hand column. To navigate up and down through the list of activities, use the scroll on the left side of the column. Locate and double-click the activity, Rotation at Top, to add it to your new program. Locate and double-click the activity, Side Bend at Impact, to add it to your new program. Press the Save button at the top of the right-hand column. After you do this, a box will pop up in the middle of the screen. In the pop-up box, in the white text box under the program name line, type the name of this program. Type Swing Example. 
click the Global Program button. This will enable this program to be seen with every client profile in your system. If you select Client Profile, the program can only be seen by the client profile in which it was created. Press the Save button. You have now saved this program. You can see the name of the saved program at the top of the right-hand column. Press the green Launch button. It's located at the bottom of the right-hand column. You're now on the Training Setup screen. You have two options, Run the entire program or enter Train Selected Exercise Mode. You can change activities in both modes. The method is the same. As most people work from the Train All Activities Mode, We'll follow this work path here. Click the green Train All Activities button at the top of the right-hand column. You're now on the Live Training screen. Double-click on the Bend at Address button. The Show Guide Info box has popped up. Now highlight and delete the name Bend at Address and change the movement name on the top of the pop-up box to Address and then press the Close button. Look at the name of the first activity in the left-hand column. It is now Address. You have changed the name of that activity. Double-click on the Rotation at Top button and change the name on the pop-up to Top, and then press the Close button. Double-click on the Side Bend at Impact button and change the name on the pop-up to Impact, and then press the Close button. You have now changed the names of all the activities. Click the Save button and then click the Save button on the pop-up. You have now saved your changes to the names of the activities in the program. Next, calibrate your player. Check that the Address Activity box is selected. It will be blue if it's selected. To select it, just click it once. Now, set your player in the position you want the player in at Address. Set your client in a position you'd like to save. Press the Set Guide Live button. If the train timers are enabled, you'll hear Setting Guides In, followed by a countdown, and then Guide Set. You have just created a biofeedback drill for address customized for this player. Now click on the top button. It should turn blue. Put your player in the position you want them in at the top of their swing and click the Set Guide Live button. You have now created a custom activity for this player at the top of their swing. Now, click on the Impact button. Now, set the player in the position you want them in at Impact. Click the Set Guide Live button. You have now created a custom activity for this player at Impact. To save these custom ranges so you can use them whenever the player comes in to train, Press the Save button in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. This will save your changes. If you want to train each activity individually, just click on the activity you want to train and train it. If you want to train the activities in succession, click the Link button at the bottom of the screen. This is called Dynamic Training. You're now training the swing from address through impact. Note, to change the difficulty of an activity, Click on the plus sign beside the Set Guide Live box. A box with a slider will pop up to enable you to make an activity harder or easier. Use your cursor to move the slider toward hard or easy. You'll see the size of the green or orange biofeedback range shrink as you move toward hard and expand as you move toward easy. You're either decreasing or increasing the target range for the movement. If you change the difficulty and want to save it, just click the Save button on the bottom left of the screen. More on Biofeedback, a summary of the ways you can change activities. Each activity is built so you can customize it for each of your players. You can customize the position a player gets into, alter the difficulty of an activity to make it easier or harder, or change the number of repetitions for an activity. You can even build and save your own activities and programs. In summary, saving activities and programs in K-Coach allows you to truly customize movement pattern training, swing training, and fitness training for every player. Remember, 
If you loaded an activity into a program and haven't yet saved the program, you can press the Save button and it will prompt you to create a new program in which to save your customized activity. Now, use your custom training program with your client. Using TrainShot TrainShot gives you the ability to train and repeat an actual swing that a player has taken. A player can train any number of positions in a selected swing in biofeedback. To use TrainShot, navigate to Client Motions and select a swing. Select the swing from the Motions tab. After a swing is selected, a dashboard will appear on the right side of the screen. Find the Train Shot button at the bottom of the panel and click it. A pop-up will be displayed. On the pop-up, select the number of swing points you would like to train, as well as the difficulty at which to train. Click Go Train. You're now on the live training screen where you can train the individual points in the swing or the full motion by going from one position to the next. Remember, to train the full motion by linking the activities, click the Link button. Note, you can train this and any of the activities in biofeedback at full speed by clicking the Show Guide Info button and setting the sec per rep to zero.